the queen of corruption. That's what people call Yang Xiaozhu, who was top of China's red warren list. A former public official in eastern China, she was accused of embezzling some 40 million U.S. dollars from construction projects. She once asserted she would rather die in the U.S. than come back to China. But after 13 years on the run, she has finally surrendered to her homeland. I will take the blame for my actions, and I want to add something else to advise those on the run in a foreign country, like me, to come back. Think about it. I'm the number one wanted person on the red warrant, and our country has been treating me with respect. So please come back. Yang fled in 2003. She lived in places like Singapore, France, Italy, and the Netherlands, recalling this as an extremely lonely time in her life. In 2014, Yang illegally entered the U.S. using a fake Dutch passport. But authorities were on to her, and she spent nearly two years in prison there before giving up her efforts to seek asylum. Outside, the pain, the officials in China can't stand it. But we know it outside. Come back, fugitives. There's no need to run. There's no need to run, and there's no room to run. Since China's 18th National Congress of the Communist Party, Beijing has promoted the anti-corruption international pursue to the national political and diplomatic level and has been integrated into the overall deployment of anti-corruption work. Chinese President Xi Jinping ranks corruption as the biggest threat to the party. He declared the rule of no forbidden zones, full coverage, and zero tolerance in dealing with corruption cases. No matter where the corrupt officials flee, they must be brought to justice. Zhang Dan, CGTN.